next week. So thank you for those who are joining. For those who can't, okay, um, don't worry. We will share this with you uh, on YouTube. Okay. So uh, let me thank all of you, all of you, for joining us today. Okay. And today we have our special speaker. All right. Uh, Miss Mawar Azza binti Muhammad. Okay. Um, she actually had uh, did one um, session of workshop with us before the Raya. All right. Okay. So um, this is her second workshop, uh, but on different topic. All right. So today we have um, our topic for today is screen castify recording your own lessons. So um, before we start, um, let me just introduce to you um, Ms. Mawar Azza. Okay, uh, so she's been teaching um, for 15 years and currently teaching in SK Sojana Utama Kuala Selangor. Okay, she's an, she's an English language teacher and she has Google Certified Educator Level 1. She's also one of the admins for ERPH Malaysia and she's involved in Task Force Google for Education at State and District level. All right, so before... Um, Okay, um, we go further. All right, I would like to invite uh, Ms. Mawar um, to um, continue the session. All right. All right, thank you very much, Ms. Zaira, for the opportunity. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. Okay, my name is uh, Mawar Azza binti Muhammad. I am from SK Saujana Utama. Okay. Uh, Kuala Selangor district. Okay. Okay, now I'm here today to to share with you one of I think the very a very useful tools uh, for our teaching and learning session okay that is called screen castify recording our own lesson okay and before we go further i would like to tell you about uh, the, the objectives for today okay, the first one is we are going to share about the benefits of screen recording and screen castify and then the second one is a guide to screen castify and then the third one is we are going to have a hands-on session don't worry i'm going to show you step by step just bear with me yeah all right now before we go deeper to screen castify i would like to share with you some benefits of screen recording okay uh screen castify is actually one of the application for screen recording what is screen rec uh, recording actually okay it's actually you are recording your lesson beforehand before the actual teaching and learning session okay you might uh, want to record your own presentation Okay, you don't want any videos from YouTube or whatnot. Okay, you want your own video. Okay, then why screen castify? Okay, it's actually tons of screen recording nowadays. Okay, it could be uh, OBS Studio, Filmora, Looms, and everything. But I think personally, I think uh, screen castify is easy to use, especially for us. Um, it's, uh, it, it doesn't require technical. Okay, it's not very technical, so everybody can use screen castify. Okay, the first benefits of screen recording, it provides a convenient way to help students to learn by simplifying and explaining complex problems. The second one, allowing students to access the learning materials as often as required and learn at their own pace. This is very important. Why? Because if uh, we send the recording beforehand, Okay, in uh, in uh, in the form of video, so the the students can have their own sweet time, uh, trying to to understand the lesson. Okay, uh, if they don't understand, they can pause and then repeat back all over again. All right, all right. The third one is easily disseminated to students, accessed from a range of electronic devices, and viewed at the time and place that suits the. Student. 
students. They can use their home handphones, they can use their laptops or PC. All right, then the fourth one, efficient and effective means of describing a step-by-step -step process, explaining a particular concept or presenting teaching materials with narration. Yes, of course, you can narrate your own video. All right, then that is the benefits of screen recording. Now we move on to screencastify. Okay, why screencastify? Okay, it's actually uh, a free Chrome extension. It's attached to Chrome, your Chrome browser. Yeah. All right, it is a five minutes video recording. Why five minutes? Five minutes for free. If you want to go beyond five minutes, then there are certain amount for you to pay. Okay, but I think personally, I think five minutes should be enough for you to guide your students using a video. If you go beyond five minutes, I, I think your um, uh, the students' attention will be distracted. Why? Because they are holding their gadget, their handphones, and they tend to open another application because sometimes they get, they might get bored. Yeah. Okay. So they tend to open another application like YouTube, playing games, PUBG, Mobile Legend, everything. And then sometimes they are scrolling their social media platform. Okay. And then all the, 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 the topic will go to dream. Yeah. Okay. I'll show you the plan. If you want to go premium. Yeah. Okay. This is the plan. Okay. Show education discount. If you want to go premium. This is the plan. Okay. All right. But I think five minutes should be enough. Yeah. Because um, if you want to, uh, if you want to have, uh, if you want to lengthen your, your videos, I think you should do multiple videos and then according to subtopic, that is, I think, better solution. Okay. All right. Now. Why Screencastify? It is easy to install and operate. Record the screen with the voiceover. The free version has no watermark to the video. This is very important. Okay, We don't want any watermark, big, big watermark here showing Screencastify. No, we don't want that. So uh, Screencastify is given to us for free. Five minutes free, no watermark. Okay. And then the second one, it is easily integrates into Google Suite for Education. Okay, for us, MOE ID. If you use MOE uh, account, then it's easy for us. Okay, automatically saved to our Google Drive if we are online, if we have internet connection. And then save to computer if offline. Yes, of course, Screencastify can be used online and offline. If you don't have internet connection, then you always you can always record your screen offline. Yeah, I'll show you shortly. And then it works well with Google Classroom integration. Okay, Screencastify is a great screencast tool and versatile. You can share your videos to YouTube. You can download and export the recording audio as an mp3, the images as an animated GIF, or the whole video as an mp4 or web. Okay. All right, now we move to a guide to screencastify for educators. All right, this is, I would call it a so-called screencastify cycle. There are four steps here. Okay, the first one is initial setup. Then after the initial setup, you can record your own video. After recording the video, you can edit the, those videos and then you can save and share the videos. All right, for the initial setup, please bear in mind this is only once. Okay, once you have installed your Screencastify, then you can skip this part. Yeah, okay, for initial setup, we install the Screencastify extension. Okay, it's stated here, skip to the next step once installed. Okay, you, we can do the initial setup through web, uh, Screencastify website or through Chrome Web Store. Yeah, and then after we install the Screencastify, okay, you are ready to record a video. You can record a browser tab, desktop, and as well as your webcam. 
after recording the video then we can edit the video we can name the recording okay and then we can trim yeah all right then after editing the video save in, uh, in google drive share to google classroom or uh, you, uh, we can share it uh, through uh, shareable link or you can send the recording via email embed the recording or publish to youtube okay as you can see i bold some phrases here okay the bold one means i'm going to focus on this okay we are going to in, uh, do the initial setup using uh, through chrome web store okay i'll show you how to record your desktop okay uh, edit the video and then how to save in google drive and share to google classroom and link the rest uh, you can explore afterwards yeah all right now ready for initial setup okay i'll show you the step first then i'll show you uh, the hands-on okay step by step don't worry okay how to do the initial setup for screencastify okay the first step is okay open your chrome browser remember it's always chrome browser yeah open your chrome browser and then type chrome web store on the omni omnibox what is omnibox omnibox is, is a tab uh, the the top the on top of your chrome browser that is omnibox yeah i'll show you all right the second step is then the result will come out after you you type chrome web browser you hit the enter button uh, the enter key and then all the result will come out you just click on chrome web store google chrome yeah and then chrome web store here and then you type screencastify on the search box then enter Okay, this will come up. The list uh, of results. You just click. Uh, you can see the screen Castify here. And then you just click Add to Chrome. Yeah? All right. Then the pop-up asks you Add Screen Castify Screen Video Recorder. Just click Add Extension. Yeah? Okay. All right, then another pop-up will come up. Screencastify vi screen video recorder has been added to Chrome. Yeah, you, then you can see a Screencastify icon on the top right bar of your Chrome browser. Now you know you already uh, you have added the Screencastify to your browser. Another way to know is you can see here remove from Chrome. Okay. All right. Let's do the hands-on session, shall we? Okay. I'll show you. All right. I need to switch. Okay. This is your Chrome browser. Yeah. This is your Chrome browser. You open. You open your Chrome browser. This is the Omnibox here. Okay. Om Omnibox. You type here. Uh. Chrome Web Store and then enter. Okay, this is all the result here. Okay, never mind. Just click here. Chrome Web Store, Google Chrome. Okay, this is Chrome Web Store. Okay, you just click here and then type screen testify. Enter. Okay. As you can see, this is screen Castify screen video recorder. Then you add to Chrome. Okay, the pop-up asks you add screen Castify screen video recorder. Click add extension. Okay. Okay. Screen 
Screencastify screen video recorder has been added to Chrome. See, you can see here the icon, the Screencastify icon. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now let's move to the next step. Okay. That one is for initial setup. Now we are going to set up the screen. Castify before you uh, record your own video. Okay. All right. The first step you are in, we are in step one. Okay. Uh, uh, open your Chrome browser again. Yeah. And then click on screen Castify icon on top or uh, on top right of your browser. Okay. Then the screen Castify setup will ask you, we are in step one. Yeah sign in with google you just click sign in with google yeah and then another pop-up will ask you the same thing just click sign in with google once again okay and then choose an account to continue to screen castify you just um choose the account uh, which account do you want to uh, incorporate Screencastify to your browser? All right. And then Screencastify wants to access your Google account. Just click allow. Yeah. Okay. Done. Step one. Now we are in step two. Allow permissions. Just click next. Okay. Just tick this two and then click next. Okay, now the pop up said Screencastify screen video recorder has requested additional permissions. Okay, just click allow. Then another pop up Screencastify screen video recorder wants to use your microphone and use your camera. Just click allow. Okay, done. Step two. Okay, we move on to step three introduce yourself because we are focusing on teachers today okay so just uh, select just select educator okay uh, both primary and secondary teachers we are both uh, we are educators okay so then choose grade school yeah okay then if you see all the confetti is coming down and then the word hooray here, then you are ready to start recording with screen. Castify means you are successfully okay, uh, ready to record your videos. Stated there, click the screen Castify icon in your toolbar to get started with screen Castify. Okay, let's do the hands on now. Yeah, all right. Okay, now, see, this is the icon here, okay, just click on the icon. Okay, see, screen Castify set up. We are in step one. As I mentioned earlier, just click sign in with Google because it is automatically save videos to Google Drive, yeah. Sign in with Google. Okay, then again, sign in with Google. Okay, now choose an account. Okay, uh, just choose an account, the, click the account. All right, now. Screencastify wants to assess your Google account. This will allow Screencastify to view and manage Google Drive files and folders as you have opened or created with this app. Make sure that you trust Screencastify, oh, of course. Then you click Allow. All right, now we are in step two, okay? Camera and microphone on. 
rowing and annotation tools on. Then click next. Okay, the pop-up says Screencastify screen video recorder has requested additional permission. Just click allow. Okay, then Screencastify screen video recorder wants to use your microphone and use your camera. Just click allow. Okay, now we are in step three. We're almost there. Okay, introduce yourself. Tell us, uh, tell us a bit about yourself to enjoy a more personalized experience. I am a educator. Okay, so, uh, what education level? Just click grade school because um, primary and secondary, we are in grade school. So grade school. Tara. Okay, you see all the confetti is coming down. You're ready to start recording with screen castify. Yeah, click the uh, the screen castify icon in your toolbar to get started with screen castify. Then you are ready to record your video. Yeah, all right. Simple. Okay, then. All right now. You are ready. We are ready to do video recording. Okay, I explain the steps first. Yeah. Okay, the first step is click on the screen castify icon on top right of your browser. Again, click on the icon. Then you'll be given three choices what to record your browser tab, your desktop, or webcam only. I always go for desktop because you can record everything on your desktop your browser your laptop screen your youtube everything okay just go for desktop and then activate your microphone if you want if you want to narrate your video uh, your videos okay activate if you want to narrate and then activate embed webcam if you want to include the webcam to the video for recording browser tab and desktop. Uh, and then please check your microphone here. Yeah? If you see the, the green stuff here, up and down, up and down, then you know your microphone is active. Okay. Uh, uh, then click on show more options. Okay. On the show more options tab, you can see the countdown timer here. You'll be given three choices. 3 seconds, 5 seconds, or 10 seconds. Okay, count down before you start uh, the, prepare, uh, the, prepare, uh, the preparation time. Okay, for you to get ready before the recording starts. And then show drawing tools. I'll show you afterwards yeah, what, uh, what is drawing tools. Okay, you can omit the system audio. Doesn't matter. And then hit the record button. Okay. All right. Step number four. Okay, you choose the screen what to present. Of course, you uh, you click on the screen and then click share. Okay, uh, once you hit the share button, then the countdown start five, four, three, two, one. Then the recording starts. Okay, then you can see the drawing tools because we we activate the drawing tool just now. So you can see the drawing tools uh, on your left of the screen. Okay, this is pause button. Uh, this is pause button uh, when you are actively uh, recording your screen at that time. Okay, you can always re uh, pause. You can always pause. Yeah. Then if you uh, pause, you can take a deep breath, then resume back. And of course, within those five minutes. Okay. All right. Then this is mouse pointer. This is pen. Eraser, embed webcam, focus mouse, hide cursor when not move, and then this is highlight, click. Okay. I'll show you. Okay, don't worry. All right. Step six. When you are finished recording, okay, you can see here, while you are recording your videos, you can see the red dot here, meaning you are in recording mode. Okay. The red dots here. If you want to stop, just click on the icon, then click stop. That is before the five minutes uh, time frame. If 
you are nearly five minutes of recording time, then the prompt will come out here. Okay, like this. Your recording will end in 27 seconds. Then you know you only yeah, the remaining time is only 27 seconds. What happened if you go beyond five minutes? Then the recording will automatically stop. Okay. All right. I'll show you how to do the recording. Okay. All right. Let's do the recording now. Okay. The first step, this is the icon of uh, screen, Castify, screen Castify icon. Just click here. Okay. All right. This is, uh, you can see here, the tab, the screen Castify tab here. Okay, stated there, five minute limit, limit per video. Upgrade for unlimited recording and editing choose five minutes okay and then i choose this desktop you can see here okay microphone you can see the, the green stuff here up and down up and down and then you know your your microphone is working properly and then embed webcam activate embed webcam select okay all right then show more options okay then you can see the countdown time here. Okay, just select three seconds, five seconds, or ten seconds. It depends on uh, individual. So I choose five seconds, and then activate drawing tools. Yeah, and then click record. Ah, this is embed webcam. This is embed webcam. Yeah, you can put wherever you want here, here. This one, this one, this here, here. It's up to you. Yeah. Okay. And then you click on the screen here and then you share. Okay. Okay. This is the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Now we are recording our video. So you can do your, your, your teaching and learning <coughs> session. Okay. You can show uh, your notes. You can give your instruction here. Okay, this is the drawing tool. Okay, as you can see here, on the icon, there, there is a red dot here, meaning you we are recording right now. Yeah, okay. This is the recording, uh, recording, uh, drawing tools. Okay, this is pause. If you want to pause, yeah? this is mouse pointer. This is pen. Eraser, embed webcam, embed webcam, here lah, embed webcam, and then this focus, this is focus mouse, hide cursor when not move, and this one highlight clicks. Okay, if you think that you are too, you you are a bit uh, stressed, you want to take a break for a while from recording the the video, then you you can pause. Okay, then you can resume back. Okay, resume. Okay, and then you want to use your pen. Just click on pen, choose the color. Let's say I want to choose okay, the green one. Okay, you can write here. Okay, and then you think, oh, seal up. So click eraser. Okay, yeah, all right. Okay, then this is focus mouse. Okay, this is focus mouse. If you want to uh, attract your students, yeah, you can choose here. Okay, show everything. Let's say, um, uh, uh, happy birthday. Okay. All right. Then, this is highlight. Clicks. Okay, this is highlight clicks. Yeah, highlight clicks. See? You can see the black, the black, the red circle there. This is highlight click. Yeah? Okay. Now, you want to stop your 
recording after uh, before five minutes stop okay the, uh, the duration of five minutes you want to stop your recording so just click here And then click stop. Ah. After you stop your recording, then you'll be taken to your video page. Yeah. Then you can uh, you can click show me around if you want to. I just uh, skip uh, tour. Okay, this is the video page. Okay. Next. After we record our video, then we can do video editing. Just a simple one. Okay, simple one. Don't worry. Okay, this is the video page. Okay, the default title is here. Okay, it's stated there untitled and then the date and the time of the recording. You can rename the video. You just click on this uh, default title and rename the recording. Yeah, and then you can trim. You can see the two two pairs of scissors here. Okay, uh, but unfortunately, you can only trim at the beginning and the end of the videos. You cannot trim in the middle of it. All right. Okay, then this is the sharing option and the download option. I'll show you in a while. Okay. All right. Let's do the editing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This part. Okay. All right. Now, uh, this is the editing uh, session. Okay. This is the default title. Yeah. Untitled June 15 as, uh, today. Okay. And then the time 10, 9 a.m. Okay. You can rename uh, the, the video. Okay. If you are not change uh, if you don't change the title then it will be safe as it is in your google drive okay it's better for you to rename it let's say we rename it as screen testify tutorial right okay, okay. Uh, now we are recording okay. Our okay. okay you can play back the videos and then if you think that you want to trim, okay, just click on the, this is just, okay, you see. Five minutes, you want to stop your recording. Okay, and then save, trim, trim. Okay, trimming your videos. You have to wait a bit. Okay, success, your video has been trimmed. Yeah. Okay. Then. All right. Now, after we record uh, the videos, then we can save and share the videos. Okay. All right. Now, saving the recording online if you are online. Yeah. Okay. Click more options. Okay, more options. This is very important. Yeah? Click more options here. And then click private only. You can view the video. Okay, private only. You can view the video. And then uh, if you are using uh, MOE account, just choose unlisted. Okay, unlisted. Otherwise, you cannot share with anyone. Yeah? Okay, if you stay at private, you cannot share. Just go for unlisted. Okay. Then your recordings will be saved automatically in a folder named Screencastify in your Google Drive. Okay. I'll show you. Okay. All right. Now, this is the sharing option the saving and sharing option okay then uh click more options okay this is private only you can view the video just click on this 
and then go to unlisted. Okay, people who have the link to the video can view it. Okay, click. All right. Then, okay, and then you can copy shareable link. Just copy the shareable link and then you can uh, uh, post it uh, via your web's uh, WhatsApp or Telegram platform for your students to open the video. Okay. All right. Now. Okay. Now to share the recording. Okay. There are a few sharing options. Share to classroom, publish to YouTube, get embed code, send in email, generate QR code. Okay, you can uh, choose whatever platform to share the videos, but I I always go for share to classroom and copy shareable link. Okay, and then the download options that are uh, is also available. You can download your videos and uh, and save to your laptop. Okay, export as MP4, export audio only, and export animated GIF. Okay, and then you can you can copy shareable link. Okay, just copy shareable link and then it stated there the link is copied. Yeah. Okay. Um. I'll show you. Okay. This is the download, the download option. Okay. And then if you want to share to classroom, just click on classroom. Okay. Continue. Okay. Uh, because I haven't joined any courses, then you, I cannot post uh, my videos through the uh, via classroom. But if you have uh, your classes in uh, GC, then uh, you can share it. Yeah. All right. Now. Okay. That is if you are online. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I want to show you uh, if the in your in my drive the folder okay drive see this is a folder here it is automatically created for you okay you don't have to to uh to create folder uh, in your drive it is automatically done for for you this is a video okay all right if, uh, what if you if you want to do the offline recording same steps apply okay you just open your chrome browser okay why chrome browser you don't have internet connection never mind you just open your chrome browser because the screencastify is attached is a chrome extension Okay, even you don't have internet connection, you can still open your Chrome browser. Yeah, okay, and then click Screencastify icon here, choose desktop, and then record. Okay, and then if you want to stop, just click again on the icon. Okay, and then click stop or automatically the recording stops if you exceed five minutes okay then the new tab appear the video uh, page okay the recording will not be saved in google drive why because you are off offline then how to share you can download the video and save to your laptop okay and all but okay the recording will be automatically saved to google drive if on online don't worry okay all right okay this is uh, an example how i do my i share my video okay i always uh, use whatsapp platform as well as google classroom i post 
uh, a day earlier, a day or two days earlier before the teaching and learning uh, uh, Google Meet. Okay, I share the video first. Okay. All right. Uh, I always apply flip classroom. Okay, this is uh, one way of flip classroom. Okay, and then I'll show you uh, my example of videos. Okay. Okay, this is my video. Hi, everyone. Okay. Uh, to, uh, I'm going to present to you about present tense and past tense. Okay, that is a, an example. Okay, I use Jamboard to present. Okay, you can always use YouTube to present and then your own notes if you have uh, pictures or uh, you can do instructional videos or you can, uh, if you want to give instructions to your students and whatnot. Okay, all right. Now, I think that's all from me. Okay, now uh, with Screencastify, just do your magic, hassle-free, Screencastify, as easy as ABC. All right, thank you very much. I Now, I think, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all for today. Thank you very much. All right, thank you, uh, Ms. Mawa. Okay, uh, I think um, there's a question there posted okay. on the chat box. Uh, will it take a long time to export as MP4? Okay. By um, Cikgu Nur Eliza. All right. Uh, no, it's not uh, long enough. It's only take less than five minutes. Okay, less than five minutes. Maybe two to three minutes. Okay. Uh -uh. All right. Okay. Any more questions, teachers? If you want to ask questions, you can turn on your microphone. All right. All right, thank you. Okay. Uh, just uh, don't be afraid, yeah, teachers. It's very easy to use the Screencastify. Okay, once you have installed, then you can uh, you can work your magic. Don't worry. 